I started swimming in Arlington uh, when I was five years old, and my sister is three years older than me, uh, and she started swimming for summer league at, at Washington Golf and Country Club, which is right up the road from, from where I grew up. I jumped in just because my sister was doing it, and, and uh, that was kind of my entry point in, and, and gradually you know, followed the pathway of summer swimming onto kind of year-round swimming and, and went up the ranks that way. Did I have a knack for swimming? I had more of a knack for loving to compete. I think it was one of the sports of the many sports that I did that more so than other sports that I had a bit more success and had a bit more comfortability. That's kind of your early introduction to what's fun and not fun is do you feel like you can actually semi do it or not? Um, I did in swimming. I think uh, swimming is a tricky sport for young kids, especially uh, tall kids, because it does challenge you really early on. I think in that sense, you know, I enjoyed that challenge. Uh, I enjoyed the fact that it was an individual sport and that it was kind of on me um, to improve and to do better. And I couldn't really blame anyone else. And that was a theme that grew as I grew with the sport. Um, so I did, I did enjoy it early on, but I would also say I enjoyed almost everything I did as a little kid because I loved competing. Uh, greatest accomplishment in swimming, you know, I, I was very fortunate to have success at, at multiple levels in swimming. Certainly, you know, winning a gold medal and then winning a gold medal again in the same event um, is something I'm very proud of that, that doesn't happen a lot in the Olympics and doesn't happen a lot in swimming. Um, to be able to represent your country is a, is, a, is a tremendous accomplishment. To win a gold medal is something that, you know, you kind of dream about but never think it's a reality and, and I think the task then four years later to repeat and defend that gold medal um, is way beyond what you would ever think about as a young kid. I view it very differently, I think, probably than most athletes, which is it's not that life is over when you're done with your sport or that all of a sudden the competitive drive and, and, and life skills that you use to get to the pinnacle in your sport go to waste. Um, I think you just transfer them to new challenges and, and um, you know, hopefully new successes in your life that are related. The swim school that I have here uh, is the all-encompassing facility brick and mortar and then philosophically in, in the pathway that we move forward with with kids of what I really kind of hoped and dreamed people would view swimming to be. Um, and that is that it isn't let's find the next Olympian or let's find the next gold medalist. My swim school is about the introduction to the sport of swimming and the idea that very simply learning to swim isn't just another activity that you have your kids do like soccer and ballet and piano, all of which are great things, none of which save your life. I think in addition, you know, what I, what I love about the school is that everyone that works here understands that passion that I have and they share that with me. And I think to have a facility and a swim school that focuses on certainly having all kids learn to swim, but then progressing through those stages of swimming technically correct, learning all four strokes, um, having adult lessons, having the parents of the kids that are learning to swim all of a sudden realize, wait a second, I can't get in the water with, with little Billy or little Susie because I don't know how to swim myself. Um, and maybe I'm 55 years old, you know what, I'm going to learn how to swim too. That's, that's awesome. And we have a lot of families like that. So it is great. And it's one of the themes that we really talk a lot about to our families, which is the idea of swimming through life means whether you're a baby or whether you're 60 years old and you've never been in the water before, swimming through life and the skill of learning to swim is something that you have forever. And that's, that's, a, that's an amazing um, idea that I'm able to carry out in, in real world form in the swim school and certainly something that you know moving from my competitive swimming career to running this business now um, my career was about being passionate about what I was doing that's why I was successful because I believed in what I was doing and I loved it and I feel very lucky to, to be able to transfer that passion into the, the swim school that, that I run now.